Hello and welcome to Stationeers. In this episode we will be taking a look at wind power and by wind power I mean wind turbines. Yeah, that's right. Not those little upright wind turbines but the big fellas that you can see in the window up and to the right. So yes, we will be building those two today and then we will be comparing them how they fare against the small ones, the upright wind turbines that we've been using thus far. Hopefully. All right, so uh, without further ado, let's cycle to exterior and let's go get set up. There we go, and depressurization done. By the way, if this is the first time that you're on this channel, do check it out. I do recommend you checking other also survival guides. And if you like what I'm doing here, do leave a like, you know, hit subscribe, press that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next upcoming interesting video that I'm about to make. Right, so without further ado, let's get and set up these wind turbines. So first I need to put off, um, well, get a nice chunk of mountain away from here. So because it's just clogging the way. Yeah, mining tools. So exciting start, right? Just remove a piece of the mountain. Then we're going to remove a bunch of these upright wind turbines. They have been serving me faithfully thus far. However, it is time for them to go. The big fellers are here in town and we should be installing those. Look at that. Three times the size. Well, you know, I don't know how much they compare, but I will hope that we will get a chance to test uh, the output one versus the other. I'm really eager to see how it fares. Okay. Procrastination aside, let's get our drill into our hands and get on with it. So, now we have a total, I'm thinking I'm going to place those up front. So, where is my wrench? No, oh, hand drill required to, to deconstruct. Yeah, where are my manners? There we go. One down, a couple more to go. Oh, and we have a dawn breaking isn't it beautiful the dawn on europa amazing so at least we will have some nice views while we're doing it so might as well you know enjoy and uh, yeah upright wind turbine we're gonna move it and then we're gonna get our wire cutters cut off some cables because we can obviously and when we're done with the cutting cables we're gonna cut some more cables yeah Nah, I'm just joking around. Anyway, uh, I'm thinking, let's see if we can now place the big kahuna over here. No, because for some reason it doesn't think it has enough room. Interesting. All right. Ooh, look at this. It's huge. Okay, well, I can see because it's colliding, it, I guess it's mesh is colliding over there with a cable and so we should probably remove the cable and after that we should be able to construct it. Fair point. Back to my wire cutters. I just want to make sure that absolutely nothing is in the way. There we go, and, ah, hell, I'll just take that one for the heck of it. And might as well remove these fellas, because I have a f gut feeling that they will be in the way too, because that thing is just so huge. So, yeah. Hand drill and deconstruct, thank you. Deconstruct, uh, thank you. Now... Should I be removing the last two? I don't know. Let's try it out and see how they fare now. So I'm hoping that now, wow, my shadows looks like the horned rat. Never could tell. Anyway, oh, now we have enough room. Okay, perfect. Let's stick it there. And okay, where's the rest of the wind turbine? Oh, I see. Well, apparently you need to have 
welding torch and steel sheets for the upgrade. Okay, I didn't see that one in the manual. Well, I guess then I'll have to get some steel sheets. Right. All right, let's go get them. Oh, and jetpack. Saved by the jetpack. Anyway, let's get in, cycle to interior, and probably let's cancel that depressurization. Thank you very much. The reason why I'm constantly pressing cancel repressurize, it's because the air is minus 144 outside, and I do want that coolness to come inside because the inside air gets too warm. We don't have the weather or the temperature regulation system in just yet. So, yeah, wind turbine. I'm just gonna place the wind turbine here for a second. Might as well dump other things that I'd other junk that I don't need, like mining belt and well, maybe something more. And I could be taking the steel sheets. I have four steel sheets, but I have a gut feeling that thing over there is just huge. So I might as well be constructing some more steel sheets. Just to be on the safe side. Okay, um, yeah. There we go, steel sheets and chug a few, Sonny, will ya? I'm thinking like, you know, eight-ish, maybe ten-ish, I don't know. We'll just press stop on the Wheel of Fortune here, right there, and let's see what our stacker tells us. How many of them you got? All right, I counted five. Yeah, it was five, okay. So it's a total of nine, nice, even number. Yeah, right. Uh, so let's get out. Okay, let's cancel it out and let us just get out. Thank you very much. There we go. So let's weld this big kahuna up. There we go. Where is my sheets, welding torch? And let's do it. There we go. And now we need five cable coil. Okay, so we need five steel sheets and five cable coil. Wow. I just hope you're worth it, buddy. So, yeah. Yeah, well, of course, once you are constructing, you know, this big wind turbines, of course you want to nibble on something. Okay, and apparently we're almost done. Wow, I never knew that these were so iffy to make. I mean, it's not too, it's just, you know, costly. Now, screwdriver, yeah, let's screw this up. Okay, got it. I mean, it looks nice. I mean, the model is huge. And I like actually the fact that it's huge. All right. Cable corner, there we go. And it's even nicely aligned, haha, <laughs> go figure. Lady luck smiles on me. All right, mm, tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm actually thinking <clears throat> I'm gonna save you the enjoyment of watching me do all this all over again for the second time and I'm just gonna clean this area a little bit up so it's ready for mounting the second one so yeah there we go see easy peasy it was um, it took literally the better part of the day so I figured I mean you saw it once no need to see it twice right I mean it would make for another 20 minutes of the episode so really Anyway, there we go back on the jetpack and then I want to be showing you the second thing that I wanted to show you in this video and that is a very practical advice on oh right first we have to well the well the uh, solar pan not solar panel wind turbine up with an additional steel sheet yeah um, and following that, I will probably want to do a piece where I will be doing how to refill the jetpack. And as you can see, we have a total of only 331 kilopascal of, uh, uh, of jetpack, um, you know, 
fuel or however you want to call it so I thought that would be interesting for the people to see how you do it right all right I'm mumbling yes anyway let's go out and finish up the second wind turbine There we go. Welders at the ready. Aim and weld. There we go. Now we need wire cutters, cable coil, all that jazz. Come on. There we go. We put the steel sheets up. Cable, wire cutters. Hit it. There we go, perfect. And now we just need a screwdriver and that should be it. We should have a total of two, well, big ass wind turbines. Now, come on, screwdriver, thank you very much. And it's working. I really do like the whooshing sound. All right, and as you can see, not all of the small upright wind turbines are placed. I thought that I could cram one in but I don't think you can actually can because of the propeller blades. And I think these models take a tile and a half. So yeah, they're huge. All right, let's see you. We could turn like this. There we go. And then I just need to put, be putting in the rest of the cable or the heavy cable to connect all of these. There we go, and I'm just going to use these two components because they are costing me some extra heavy cable coil, which they shouldn't, so there we go. Now let's see how many of those will we be able to weld up or connect up. And what do I need? Ah, right, I need wire cutters. Yeah, because we want to splice the cable, obviously. All right go there and yes here here i think i just may I might have enough cable for this guy there we go and we'll obviously make some more and then we'll hook it up i do think now that power wise or power generation wise we should be pretty good shape so I'm just thinking, let's quickly check it out. Uh, how much power are they producing? I'm really curious. Let's turn on the network analyzer. And let's check out the cable. Oh, it doesn't say, it's just actual potential required. It doesn't say how much electricity are they producing? Oh. Okay, you know, Rocketworks, this would be an improvement suggestion. On the network analyzer, you have the total list, but it's just, I would much like a table to see how much is each device putting in. I think that would be more handy. All right. So I guess there is no way of finding that out quickly and easily. Look at that. Off, unpowered, on, unpowered. Yeah, it's just sort of a summary. I would really like if you could have like a, a network analyzer mark two where you would have a detailed report. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think that that would be useful? Oh, do you hear that? whooshing sounds i guess that means that the wind is hard anyway let's go into the second order of business which is i want to be constructing now the recharge for my jetpack fuel tank as you can see we i have a total of 392 kilopascals of thrust for my and uh, since we're on an atmospheric planet that means pretty much anything can be used to propel it hell you could use your you know waste tank for co2 if you want to use it however i prefer to have a small setup thingy over here uh, which would be basically an air vent an active one active vent 
together with a piece of pipe and connecting to the container. So yeah, pipe straight, see, easy peasy. And now we put gas tank storage. There we go, tank fill. And we can put the pipe meter just to know when the pressure is too much. All right, now we need a cable coil and obviously wire cutters because we want to splice this cable in. Okay, I mean, statistically you should have gotten it by now. Oh, there you go. Perfect. All right, so we can test it. Okay, where is my waste tank? Sorry, the jetpack tank, yeah, propellant. Yeah, I know. Active vent. Set outward. And look at that. It is blowing. All right, 9.44 megapascal. See, it's that simple. Now let's see if it works. Jetpack. Woohoo! So as I told you, a very simple method. Note, this will only work in your on an atmospheric planet. Any atmosphere. I don't know how it might how it would work on Vulcan though, because the temperatures would be extremely high or Venus. Maybe we would need just to pre-cool it, otherwise your um, jetpack tank might blow up. I don't know. Let me know. Uh, if you have tried it and had such an experience, please do share it in the comments. I think it would be beneficial for entire community watching this video. And yes, let's go and collect some iron. So, obviously I cut that part out. I didn't want you to enjoy 20 minutes of me digging up iron. However, what I did manage to make is we are now at the section where I'm intending to print uh, the upgrades or the mods for the pipe bender and the tools manufacturer. So, tool printer mod. Yeah, let's take it. We take that one first because I'm thinking we could maybe, you know, go and build up some more cool improvements for our suit and whatnot. So, steel, electron, constantan and solder. Well, good thing it's not taking Invar, otherwise I'd be, well, in a little bit of a pickle. I heard that uh, Invar is notoriously tough to nail down because of the narrow, I think it was temperature range? Or was it the pressure? I'm not sure. Sadly, those, um, when you're building them, they take ages to produce, so it will be a while until we get the whole design imp approved, so to say. Plenty of steel. Okay, I'm going to stick 94 grams of steel this way and another section of steel I'm going to shove in this guy. There we go, what do we have? Iron. There we go. 89%, okay, you're almost done, beautiful. Perfect. So now do the same thing for the pipe bender. Okay, I just need to stick the steel in. There we go, and do it. There we go, tool printer mod. And let's weld it up. There we go, and let's weld it. There we go, the tool maker Mark II or tool manufacturing. Pretty soon I'm hoping that we will get the... Oh, it's 40% only. Okay, this might take a while. 
Yeah, let's check out if we have any cool recipes at the tool maker, shall we? Okay, arc welder. Oh, it needs invar. Dang it. What about the hard suit? Steel, steel light astroloy? I mean, for crying out loud. Hard suit? Steel, steel light astroloy. So, we do need a bit more of it. I don't know how we'll make steel light and astroloy. Okay, steel and constant and my advanced mining belt i guess that's fine all right and we have another pipe bender mod so we'll upgrade that and i think with after that we'll con gonna call it for the episode so yeah here we go look at that a wonderful crafting corner with all mark ii machines yes feels good doesn't it yeah, I guess in the next episode I'm going to try and see if I can craft Invar or do something more advanced, hopefully. Anyway, however, let's just go here and enjoy the view. I've been Grumforks. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. This is Grumforks signing off.